Okay, here's a quick video of where I'm at with my neck mechanism. Um, please forgive the extreme mess. <laughs> I need to clean this up. But anyway, here's uh, the head turning uh, servo block. Um, so that slots right into here. And so this will just slide right into here and then um, it gets screwed in from the bottom. Then there is a back cap. This will be one piece and this slots into here to close the back side up. It'll get hit in with a with um, you know rust and stuff like that. Anyway, I, I still need to do the wire management. Also, these aren't the final screws. This is just temporary for the test. But basically, uh, it's a piece of 2020 extrusion with some aluminum, um, some rod ends, and quarter inch uh, threaded rod along with some bearings and pillow block. But basically, um, there'll be a big servo in the body and that will allow, hold on. So this, is, this will be the, the standing midway point and then he'll be able to raise up and down. So there's some decent range of motion. Um, this, uh, I still need to do some refining because basically my tolerances with these are very small. So I need to shave these down, but eventually this cap would hook into here. If I can, um, again, it, I need to shave those pieces down. There's then a side with a T-nut that gets locked into that side. And then this hollow piece, uh, before putting it on the neck, would actually get a slid in through the back and it fits right over these covering the screw holes. And then there's actually a hole in the bottom that will thread right into this uh, bottom piece of 2020. There'll be an M5 screw that holds the back and the, the front will be held into place by a press fit over this piece. Um, I just need to do some refining and run cable channels. Um, still a lot of refining to do, but it's very promising. This is extremely heavy duty. Um, there will be another uh, rod, rod end bearing that connects to this screw and goes down into the body. So there'll actually be a lever in the back that is what pulls it up and down. And obviously there'll be um, lock nuts that get put on both of these sides to hold them in place so that they don't go back and forth. But overall, um, for the test, the first test fit, uh, Everything's looking good. I can show you also this side. I need to make my countersink holes a little deeper. You can see they're kind of sticking out, but basically everything screws in from this side. And then this piece will have two magnets that correspond with two magnets here. And this cap will just pop on after um, to cover up those screws. Uh, if I can put this down, you can see how these will eventually fit together like this. I'll just hold that. They'll get actually screwed into the 2020 extrusion with uh, T-nuts on both sides. I still need to create this hole. But then this shell slides in through the back and will just slot in on this side, a press fit on this side, and then screwed into the back 
from that side. So then this will be one piece. And that's about it. Again, a lot of refinement to do, um, but it's, it's looking promising. So I'll update more once I have some pieces further along.